So now we've talked about what happens when you add water, for example, to the body or sodium to the body or any combination of those things. We talked about isotonic fluid, hypotonic fluid, hypertonic fluid. And we talked about what happens in terms of pure chemistry or physics, what happens to the solutes and to the water and how those things shift around. And we saw that basically different combinations of salt and water can cause different changes in volume and different changes in concentration of the body's fluids. But now we're ready to take this to the next step and that is how does the body now react to these changes? And this reaction right here is really the job of the kidneys. So now we're really getting to the crux of renal physiology, which is how does the body regulate salt and water balance? We've been promising that we'd get to this for a long time and we finally are there. And the first step to understanding how the kidneys react is to understand that there's two different things that they can react to. The first is right here. It's a change in volume. So if there's a change in volume, the kidney can measure that and then it can react to undo that. And it's important to specify that when we say volume, we mean specifically extracellular volume. Now why is it extracellular and not intracellular? That's a loaded question that we'll get to later. For now, just remember, what the kidney is measuring is extracellular volume. And the other thing the kidney can react to, the other thing it can measure is concentration. So precisely the other thing that we mentioned here. Now, not only does the kidney measure these two different things, but it also reacts differently to each one because a change in volume is different from a change in concentration. You can think of ways that you could change the volume without changing the concentration or ways that you could change the concentration without changing the volume. So for example, if I give you a bunch of isotonic fluid, that's going to increase your extracellular volume, if you remember, but it's not going to do anything to concentration. So the kidney really has two different programs to react to these things. It has one to correct the volume problem and then it has another program to correct the concentration problem. And right now, this is probably all sounding really abstract and confusing, but just remember that the kidney has these two different programs. One responds to and tries to correct changes in volume, and the other responds to and tries to correct changes in concentration.